Okay, I'm back, and so now we want to talk about how are minerals metamorphosized. And there's going to be six different ways of doing it. So the first one is going to be called recrystallization. So this is going to change the shape of the grains and the size of the grains, uh, but it doesn't change the mineral identity and is going to be caused by heat. So in the first picture over there, the picture on the left, you're going to see quartz sand grains in a sandstone. And you notice that they're kind of spherical. But now what we're going to do is subject sandstone to heat. And then you'll notice that the quartz grains are going to change their size and their shape. They're going to become more compact. And then you're going to end up with the metamorphic rock quartzite. So quartzite is still made of quartz. So the mineral did not change its identity, but it's now in a more compact form. Uh, the next kind that we want to mention is going to be called a phase change. And this is going to transform one mineral structure into another mineral structure without changing the mineral identity. And this is going to be caused by pressure. So for example, here is a some kind of a mineral and you see that it's made of different kinds of atoms that are hooked together and into a cube. Then we're going to subject it to pressure and you see how the mineral has buckled. And so it, the, the atoms have reoriented themselves so that it strengthens the mineral to be able to withstand those increased pressures. It's still the same mineral. It's just that it has a different structure to it. So uh, one way of thinking about this would be uh, think about a spring. So if you've got a spring and it's normally this size and now you start to apply pressure to it, well you notice that the coils of the spring, they get closer together. So that the spring has adapted its shape to account for the new pressure that's being applied to it. It's still the same atoms, so you notice that if you, if you look at that second picture there, the picture on the right, you'll notice that the atoms are still in their original configurations. The only difference is that they are now been bent and they have uh, reformed in such a way as to accommodate the added pressure that's been applied to it. Okay, let's take a break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about remobilization.